Well, fairy tales are common to all cultures, and they're one of the earliest forms of story that we learn. And since science is a kind of storytelling, I was looking for a model that would work for writers who are afraid of writing, who maybe went into science because they didn't want to write. So I bring them back to that very basic form of writing, the fairy tale. And it works very well for scientific papers because there's four parts to a fairy tale and there's four parts to a scientific paper. All fairy tales start once upon a time. And that's how your introduction starts. It sets the stage for the whole story that's going to follow. So it creates the problem. And in a fairy tale, it's maybe the king has three children and the country is facing a crisis and he needs to choose which child will inherit the throne. Then the next section of a fairy tale is setting up a test with clear outcomes, which of course is the methods section of a scientific paper. In a fairy tale, that's something like each child was told to go out into the world and the first uh, thing that was freely given to them, they had to bring home. And whoever could use that to defeat the giant or whatever was threatening the kingdom would uh, win the throne. So the outcome is defeating the giant. And we always have our methods and our outcomes. And so it's a really easy parallel to come up with, uh, with the fairy tale again. And then there's the results. There's the story of what happens when they bring back their, um, their uh, piece of their writing or their task, or they complete their task. And here, the first child brings back a warrior sword, but the giant snaps it in half, and the different kids bring back the different things, and one wins. The third child brings back a clever argument which defeats the giant. And you can think of this as analogous to, in a randomized control trial, testing three different treatments, three different arms of a trial. Um, and there's always a comparison, and there's always a results uh, section in a scientific paper. And then the most important part is that every fairy tale has a moral or a message, the takeaway. And every scientific paper also has a message. And it's the message that propels the story. And so fairy tales end, the moral of the story is, and papers end with the message. And the message is your main finding plus whatever that implies. And that's the moral of your story. So in our fairy tale, it's intelligence and craft win over brute strength every time. But in our paper, it might be treatment X is more effective than treatment Y and should be uh, used preferentially. Uh, so that's, that's our parallel between fairy tales and uh, scientific stories.